In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a new feature in CorelDRAW 2018. This is a feature that will be especially useful to those of you with WordPress websites. And that feature you'll find up here if we go to File, come down to Export 4, and you will now see WordPress. This gives you a dynamic way in CorelDRAW to quickly and easily publish content to your WordPress website directly from within CorelDRAW 2018. I'll come off of my menu and I'll left click to close that Then I'll come down and bring up my web browser. Here I have a demonstrative WordPress website I've set up as a portfolio site. And what I would like to do is add my Blue Studios logo to the portfolio preview on the home page of my WordPress website. To do that, I'll go back to CorelDRAW with my logo here set up on my page. I'll simply come up to File, come down to Export 4, and then down to WordPress. And I'll click on that. I'll get the Export for WordPress dialog box, which will pop up within CorelDRAW. I have some options for my preview modes. I have a full preview mode. I have a two vertical preview modes. I have a two horizontal preview modes. And I have a four preview modes. I also have zoom to fit. I can preview as one to one pixel or as zoom to actual size. I can also, by coming up here to the titles bar, left click, hold down and move this dialog box. I could come down here to the corner, you'll see the cursor change. Left click, hold down and I can resize this. I'll go back to zoom to fit. Now here we have four different preview windows in our dialog box and we can select these with a left click the preview window with the blue box around it is the preview window that is selected now this is set to a gif based on a palleted image a palleted image is an image that's based on the number of colors that will be used to reproduce the image and i can preview different types of formats for exporting my graphics or images to my WordPress website. Here I have a PNG that's set to RGB 24-bit. That'll be a large file, 171 KB and 25.2 seconds to load, whereas my GIF is much smaller, actually about 10%. But that's because we're working with a limited number of colors with a GIF, whereas an RGB image could have millions of colors. With the pan tool, I can also move my center mouse wheel forward and zoom in. I can also left click, hold down and pan around in my images to preview the different formats and settings I have for my export to my WordPress website. I can also, with my center mouse wheel, pull back and I will zoom out. I'll come up here and I'll go back to zoom to fit. So you can see that we can really get a very good preview of our different image formats and settings for exporting or publishing our graphics or content to our WordPress website. So from these preview windows, I can preview different formats for exporting and publishing my graphics and content to my WordPress website. Here I have a PNG RGB, here I have a GIF. Down here I have a PNG image that's based on palleted 8-bit. The size is 90.2 KB, 13.2 seconds load time. Here I have a JPEG image. This is set to CMYK. CMYK really is not ideal for exporting to the web or a WordPress website. I'll select this with a left click. I can come up here to the color mode and I'll change that to RGB. And we'll see that change and we'll also see that we get a smaller image with a faster loading time. Also, by selecting our preview windows, we can preview different presets. For example, with this GIF selected, indicated by the blue box around it, I could change that to a high quality JPEG. And here I'd have a preview of a high quality JPEG in that preview window. Now that I've changed to the JPEG format, I can review the options in this preset and change them. I could go from high quality to highest and preview that. I can take a look at disabling anti-aliasing. We can see that image does not look as good as it does when it's anti-aliased. 
we can see that having these preview windows, the presets, and all of these different options available to us gives us the ability to look at different image formats and different settings to give us the best possible export and publishing of our content directly to our WordPress site from within CorelDRAW 2018. Now looking at all of these images and realizing that I'm going to upload an image for my portfolio, I would really prefer a very clean image and very good retention of the color in the image. In other words, no changing or shifting of the color. GIF and JPEG will change and shift your colors around because they're compressing. For example, GIF, which will export your image with a limited number of colors. For example, 256 colors as opposed to RGB, which could potentially be millions of colors. So working with PNG, we're going to get the cleanest images, but they'll be a bit larger. If we're working with images that we feel aren't that important, that we have very clean and they're really not like portfolio images, we might want to go with a GIF or a JPEG. GIF and PNG are the only two file formats that will support transparency. JPEG will not support transparency. So now that we've gone through these different previews, I'm going to go with the PNG. Now up here I have my presets, and you can see these, and I can come down, and this will just set this to the original, but PNG 24-bit. Over here we have presets again, and here we can load a preset, save a preset, or delete a preset. Now I'm going to go with this PNG, because that's selected, so that's the file that will be exported and published to my WordPress website. I'm going to go with the transparency so that the color in the background of my theme will show through the transparency in my PNG image. I'll stay with anti-aliasing and I'll also leave my color profile embedded. I'll come down here to transform. Here we can see we have units. This is set to pixels by default. We can change that, but when you're working with web graphics, pixels is your best option. Here we have the width and height of our graphic. We can change that by changing the pixels or the percentages. Here we have resolution. I'm going to set this to 72 DPI. That is the correct resolution for web graphics. So here for my portfolio, I've decided to go with the PNG format, holding my transparency. I've got anti-aliasing. I've got embed color profile and have set this to 72 DPI. Now once I've set these options up for the format of the PNG image for my export and publishing my graphics to my website, I'll come up here to presets and I'll click on save preset and I'll just type in WP portfolio and I'll save that. Now that's a preset and it'll be available in my preset scroll down down here at the bottom. So whenever I'm exporting graphics for my portfolio, I can just select this preset and my image format and options will automatically be loaded into the export for WordPress dialog box for me. So I can very simply just click on upload. Once everything is set up, I can simply click on upload. I'm going to get the upload to WordPress dialog box. I'll need to authenticate my WordPress account. I'll click on that. I'll get my Howdy login to CorelDRAW Graphics Suite with your WordPress.com account. I'll enter my username. Click on Continue. Enter my password. And then I'll click on Login. Here, Howdy, CorelDRAW Graphics Suite would like to connect to all of your WordPress.com sites. And I'll go ahead and approve that. Here we have Corel Designer, and I'll click on Upload. Once that's completed, I'll go back to my WordPress website. I'll go here to My Site. I'll go to Site Pages. I'll go to my Home Page. I'm going to come here and put my text cursor at the end of the scroll down the page sentence and just hit Enter one time. That way my image will be below this text. Come over here, click on Add. I'll go to Media and then I'll see my Blue Studios logo. I'll select that, come down here, click on Insert, select the image, come up here and align to center. Come over here and click on Update. I'll go ahead and visit my page, and we'll see that I've now added this logo to the portfolio preview on the home page of my WordPress website. I've done this very quickly and very easily, working directly in 
for LDRAW 2018 to publish graphics and content directly to my WordPress website. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of the tutorial to follow along with, the download link for the file to follow along with, and many other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW 2018.